catfish. So this is a piece of catfish right here. Mm. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make Vietnamese sweet and sour soup with catfish. It is also called in Vietnamese Can Chu Ca Pong Lao. This is one of my favorite soup and in Vietnamese traditional soup almost everybody knows how to eat this soup and love it because of the savory dish it has the sourness of the tangerine the sweetness of pineapple and um, we have red tomato we have okra elephant ear, stems, bean sprout, patty herbs, spring onions, sh shallots, and of course the main ingredients we have here is fish, catfish, and right here we have two pounds of catfish. This is the body and this is the head of the catfish and this is one and a half head they cut they cut it into two so with that i will be making a good pot good uh, side of a, uh, a soup a sweet and sour soup uh, i can't wait to have it tonight with uh, my daughter so uh, let's follow me uh, let's Start with cleaning out the catfish. Uh, in the, the last in the last couple of videos, I mentioned how to clean it. What you do, you uh, boil the water and then you soak it in, and that's how you can clean the outside of the fish really good. Taking the fish out. Wash it with hot water, clean out all the black area of the fish, and let's just add salt or clean. Prepare the vegetable for the soup. I'm going to use just half of this pineapple, it's a big one. Two big tomato everything you cut into um, cubes same size this is the okra the top and the bottom part. You cut them into uh, dianos, 
like this. Just an elephant, elephant uh, ear stem. So you just peel off the skin. Patty herbs, mint, not on. So you must have this to make the um, Vietnamese sweet and sour soup. So with this, same thing like the rest, you just cut them in Guyana's. We are almost done with preparation. I'm going to use half of this. These are Thai chili, red Thai chili. I will put five without chopping them and five chopping them. So it depends on how you want your soup. Chili, spicy or not spicy. So. So I finished preparing for everything I need to start making this dish now. Now the shallot is brown. I'll go ahead and add the fish. One piece of fish. So I'm going to go ahead and use all the fish that I prepare for. Three pieces of fish and egg. For seasoning. One tablespoon of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. Now what I would do is I'm going to go ahead and add boiling water into this pot. When you cook fish, just make sure you always use hot water to put in the fish. Otherwise, it will smell bad. You don't want that for your soup or anything that you do. 
this right here is 10 cup of hot water hot boiling water boiling for let it cook for about five minutes and then after five minutes I will take out the fish the middle part not the not the head the head you can leave it in but the middle part of the fish you want to take it out otherwise it will break so I'll give it five minutes the fish because if we overcook it will break I will leave the head inside So I'm gonna put in pineapple. Go ahead and add the okra. And tomato as well as chili. This white part of the green onion, go ahead and add it in. Let it boil for a few minutes. And then uh, after that, I will do seasoning. And that's pretty much it. Remember the one tomato that I chopped into small pieces? This one, I'm going to go ahead and saute it and then put it in so it gives like color to this pot of soup. Once it's boiling, then I'll go ahead and add the elephant elephant ear stems. Because this this doesn't take long to cook. And of course the green stuff. I'm gonna use half of the bag. Go ahead and add the elephant ear stand. I'm just half of the bag. This is my tomato. 
that I sauteed it just with oil and then I'm gonna go ahead and add back to the soup like this. I will go ahead and put back the fish and then I add seasoning. One tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of fish sauce. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, fry shallot in here. spring onion and party party herbs and I save half of it for garnish and uh, um, sweet and sour soup is not complete with our tan tamarind so there's two options, you can get the powder or you can get the actual tamarind frozen. The powder is the easy one. So uh, this is one bag. I'll put it all in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a, a taste test to see if I need anything else. It is so good. Mm. It has the sourness, the um, chili, the, the spice had everything all flavor that you can think of in here. It's all done. Mm. So with this soup you can serve with white rice or rice noodle. And this is the rice noodle. This is the rice noodle I bought to eat with the soup. Rice stick.
small piece of fish. Thank you for watching this video, how to make Vietnamese sweet and sour soup with catfish. I had a, I had a good time <laughs> making this soup. It was, it was long, uh, to be honest. It took me over an hour to uh, cook this meal, but it was all worth it. Very, very tasty. This is a very healthy dish. You hardly see any oil that I use for this for this uh, part of soup. But it turned out very good, very healthy. I hope you will give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.